What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Today, the rat becomes a man. And in this one. This way, Protect the rat. Protect the rat. Come on. We got the rat and crypto. KZE, what would you recommend as a first dog? What was your first dog? Should I get a small dog, such as the rat here, or should I get a larger dog, such as Crypto? Do you need experience to own a larger dog, such as the Siberian Husky? Small dogs and large dogs are gonna require pretty much the same thing. Both small dogs and large dogs will require the same amount of work. My first recommendation is always do research. Get a dog breed that fits your needs. What are you looking for in a dog? Are you looking for a protective dog? If you're looking for a protective dog, a very good breed would be a Rottweiler, a Doberman, or a German Shepherd. Small dogs are capable of being obedient, but as far as the protection wise, given that anybody could just punt the rat like a football they don't offer protection that much so if you're looking for a protective dog a larger dog breed is a must So most importantly, do research on the dog breed. What do you want your dog to do? If you want a dog to pull you everywhere, the Siberian Husky here is a way to go. Another really big factor would have to be the amount of money it costs to maintain a dog. Larger dog breeds will most definitely eat way more. Another big thing is maintenance. My first dog was gifted to me, a chihuahua called the Brownie. He wasn't as small as the rat, he was probably the size of Milo. I did not start with a large dog breed. It doesn't matter if you're planning to get a large dog breed or a small dog breed. Both dogs require a lot of maintenance, a lot of dedication, and a lot of training if you are planning to raise them right. So just because you have a small dog, it doesn't mean you don't have to exercise them. Both of these dogs require the same amount of time to keep nice and healthy. Don't think that a smaller dog breed is less less work. This dog right here is much more work to keep alive than this dog right here. I, I can't even count how many times he's gotten sick. He's probably gotten sick about six times. Crypto's never gotten sick. Smaller dog breeds are more fragile to everything. If you're in a more dangerous environment, I would recommend owning a bigger dog breed. Don't buy a Husky to keep him indoor. Buy a Husky so he could pull you everywhere. That's what these dogs are meant to do. That's where the research comes in. Do your research. KZE, Crypto's meant for pulling. What's the rat meant for? The rat? is meant to bless your heart look at those nails dude he's like a freaking falcon look at that swan what is that he's like straight stalking mode oh it's my ex it's my ex again every dog breed has different characteristics it doesn't matter if they're large or small every dog has a different personality make sure you find a dog that fits your personality the best don't just do research on it go out look for the dogs try your hardest to try and adopt a dog there's plenty of dogs that need to be saved if you know someone that has a dog that you're looking at ask them if you could take a look at them you might change your mind when you're in person with a dog because let me tell you dogs have very distinct personalities from my experience i'm gonna tell you guys all the dog breeds i've encountered and their characteristics the chihuahua extremely yappy alert dog breed the siberian husky extremely stubborn energetic and loves to pull the pit bull pit bulls always want to please you they're always alert to you and they're extremely strong here goes the fox 
Do larger dog breeds require more space than a smaller dog breed? Yes, hell yes. There's people that believe you shouldn't keep a Siberian Husky outdoor because of their extremely wanting to explore personality, making it almost certain for them to escape. Yes, that is true, but that doesn't mean you should keep your dog indoor. Bottom line, should I get a large dog breed or should I get a smaller dog breed? If your girl ever tells you size doesn't matter, let me tell you something. Those extra three inches sure will tickle her. Let's go, let's go! We are about to attempt something pretty savage. One of you guys sent in this, this dog backpack right here. I have gone ahead and used it a couple Ooh. times. For we, but we're gonna go ahead and put Milo in it while Crypto is pulling us full speed on the drift trike. Huh, Crypto? So here we go. Let's do this. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, I see. Ow! Mm. Uh, there you go, Milo! <laughs> oh, fucking Milo! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know. Good oh boy! He is strapped in his freaking turtle shell. <laughs> Front backpack, I guess. Oh yeah, it's possible. <laughs> I am about to rage. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my, I just freaking had the biggest rage of my life. We have the fruit on the drift strike on the other hand.
Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.